Hey guys, this is Sarah Elena. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first video. I have a lot of information on here about moving to Costa Rica, but I'm gonna cut straight to the chase here. And it was brought to my attention um, yesterday by someone who follows my channel about something really important that's going on over in San Isidro de General area, otherwise known as Perez de la Don. And I do think that it needs to have some awareness raised over it. So right now there's protesting going on over there over this, and I'm gonna do my best to explain it. Hopefully I don't get anything wrong, just bear with me, but I at least do wanna let you know what's going on because what's going on over there is something that is a big reason why a lot of people have left their home countries to move here to Costa Rica. So here, let me just, like I said, bear with me as I try to explain this to you. Um, I'm gonna do it in the best words that I can. It has to do with like new zoning requirements for lands. So the government, I guess six days or so, announced that they were gonna be having some regulations and that they were gonna become effective as of yesterday. So that was a pretty quick announcement. Hmm, funny, done pretty quick so that people don't really have a time to act. However, the people are speaking up and they are acting and I'm gonna try, like I said, I'm gonna try my best. Please bear with me. If there's anything that I say that's incorrect or you are well, more well-versed in this, please put it in the comments below. And you know, I do wanna provide updates on this situation as well. So here's what's going on with the land. Again, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I took notes during my call. I was speaking to someone who was highly involved um, in this you know, kind of what's going on over there and so I could best understand, but also down in the link below, uh, I put the link to a YouTube video that explains everything. It is in Spanish. Maybe you can try to get it subtitled to English, but um, so that will give you some more information on the topic as well. They're announcing new zoning laws in the area, like I said, of San Isidro de General, otherwise known as Perez de la Don. And it's kind of in, I guess it's in regards to climate change biodiversity. And what the zoning laws basically do, from my understanding, again, please correct me if I'm wrong, what they basically do is they are kind of pushing the small farmers out of business. And yeah, let me just explain to you. So here's like an image. Again, it's kind of hard to see exactly like what's on these images and the zones. You may not be too familiar with everything that you're looking at here, and it's a little bit blurry. But let's just focus on the colors here and I'm telling you about what these actually mean. Okay, so here's the new changes that they're trying to make. So anything in the green area, so there are areas that have a lot of green areas, anything in the green area is gonna be considered fully protected. You will not be able to build there, you can't plant anything into the ground, and you can't have animals. So you can't have livestock, no planting in the ground. I guess that means no permaculture, nothing. So that would be for the green area. And there are people who already have their homes in these areas. There could be families that already have their own permaculture farms that support their family. That's their way of life of living for Costa Ricans, especially in this area. There's a lot of farming in this area. There's, and it's not, it's not the, there is the mass farming of when you just see huge fields of pineapples all over the place. And of course there's no biodiversity, but there are a lot of farms out there owned by Costa Ricans that are their own private family business that feeds their family, that they bring produce to the farmer's market. Maybe they deliver it to other parts of the country so that other people do get to have fresh food, you know, good food to actually eat and put in their bodies. And it's a diverse, you know, amount of different um, things to eat. So it's not just, you know, not all these are just one farmer planting one thing. Those really are like the big corporations that are really doing that. So anyone who's in the green zone can't plant anything, nothing at all. Anything in the brown area, you can live there, you can plant, but you can't do any sort of business and you're taxed for every animal. So that means, okay, these same kind of farmers, maybe a Costa Rican who sustains their family by the farming, by the permaculture, by the food that they create with their property that they've maybe lived on their whole lives, they can't, they can plant, but they can't sell anything. They can't sell at the farmer's markets. They can't, you know, whatever business operations they have there that supports them and their family will have to be shut down. Anything in the light green area, so anything in the light green area, those are the areas that someone can do, the only areas that someone can do touristic businesses. So there can't be any churches, there can't be any schools, but nightclubs, hotels, bars, touristic businesses, yes, you can have touristic businesses there. And here are some of the you know demonstrations that were happening yesterday over this. So the Costa Ricans, um, a lot of the well, a lot of the people who have moved, you know, from foreign countries to that area are absolutely up in arms about this because this does affect 
the lives of many. There was protesting yesterday. There was protesting the, the day prior. I guess there was about 400 people that showed up to the first one. Apparently a lot more showed up to yesterday's. So much to the point that no public hearing was able to happen at the government building because, you know, there were people blocking the doors. And it was noted that they haven't seen this kind of, you know, demonstration in this area for the last 30 years. So this is definitely something big that's happening in Costa Rica. If you want to stay updated on it, I will look for some reliable news sources, news sources that you can check out below to stay updated on what's happening, perhaps see how you can help if this does, you know, if this is something that, you know, you feel called that you want to see what you can do about or just offer support and let's see how this unfolds. But I did want to, you know, I have this channel, I have this audience here and I wanted to raise awareness to something that is happening here in the country that, you know, a lot of people don't feel is right and they're fighting against. So let's see how this goes. I hope that it does turn out for the best. Um, I'm gonna stay on top of it as well. Um, like I said, I have someone who've reached out to me who is keeping me posted on everything. So as I stay posted, I will keep you posted as well. All right, well, thanks again for viewing. If you want to dive further into this topic, there's some resources down for you to below that hopefully can explain it better than I can, but at least wanted to let everyone know what's going on. All right, have a wonderful weekend.